What is the truth behind the Galactic Federation of Light? What are they hiding? Do they want to help us? The Galactic Federation of Light is something that a lot of people come across in their spiritual journey, mostly when they start looking into different star seeds, star seed origin, higher dimensional planets and star systems, and other beings that are actually out in this galaxy and universe. When you come across something called the Galactic Federation of Light, a lot of times people will say that the Galactic Federation of Light is a good thing. It is a system in place to actually help us raise our vibrations, a system or coalition of other planets and star systems that we can actually join once our vibrations get high enough, once Earth has gone through its transformation, once the Earth has ascended. However, do they want to save us? No! Oppress us? Well, both. So let's talk about that. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Moon Days with Michael. I'm your host, the Royal Triangle Michael, and I am cutting out the esoteric middleman and giving you the tools you need to connect yourself right to the source. First of all, what the heck is the Galactic Federation of Light? The Galactic Federation of Light is a coalition of different planets and star systems that are of a higher vibration and higher dimensional frequency than Earth is. Earth is a planet. Earth operates at the fifth dimensional level. Stars, on the other hand, operate at the sixth dimensional level. So it's hard to actually look at the surface of a star and actually perceive, oh, hey, there's beings living on the star. Beings living on a star, what am I talking about? Well, for example, I'm in a 3D human body. However, most other star systems that operate in a higher dimension can have beings in fourth and fifth dimensional human bodies. They still resemble humanoid appearances. However, they're operating at a higher dimensional frequency, so we can't exactly contact them or interact with them in our physical body because we operate at a much lower frequency. Which systems are actually inside the Galactic Federation of Light? Pleiadians, Vega, Sirius. However, Arturus is definitely not in this Galactic Federation of Light. Let's actually explain how the Galactic Federation formed and if it's really a good thing for us to actually even consider joining. Spoiler alert, not really. So when you think of the Galactic Federation, all you really need to think about is a higher form of the government. So if you want to think about the Galactic Federation of Light, think about the American Revolution, right? How the people in power decided to start a revolution and then form their own government with their own ideas and everything. They were the first people in that position to do that. So the government became their vision. This is the same thing as the Galactic Federation of Light. The first star systems in the galaxy that actually elevated to a higher frequency actually decided to make the same thing as a government, but on a higher scale. With that being said, do you really think it's a good idea to join just a higher form of government? Or do you want to be free? I know a lot of talk about how the government's bad and everything and how there's like a whole shadow government and people want to say, oh, people are sitting in a room talking about how they can control us and all the different judges and stuff they're pushing. And I'm not going to sit here and say that's true. I'm not going to sit here and say it's false. But whether or not they are or aren't, I can guarantee you that spirits definitely are doing that. It may not be in a physical body, but spirits are doing it. Just saying. What you have to understand is that groups of people with the same ideas, structures, thought patterns, and systems in place will come together and actually join hands in this government. However, we get into a problem here, and that is individuality and freedom. Why would you want to leave Earth and Earth's governing system for another governing system on another planet? You might think it's all cool because it's in a higher vibration, but at the end of the day, it's the same problems, just on a different scale. Think about it like this, right? All of us could be individuals sitting in a room, holding hands, singing kumbaya. However, at the end of the day, we're still individuals. We have our own way of going about and moving throughout this realm of reality that we call life. Having a coalition of different star systems to join in in a government, takes away from the individuality and free will. You've most definitely heard of star seeds and people having different star seed traits. You ever notice how all those star seeds don't have the same traits in common? It's because they're individuals. I know why people find the idea of the Galactic Federation so attractive. It's because these planets, these star systems are in such a higher form than we are and they all seem to get along and don't necessarily have the same problems that we do. That's because they are a unified system. I'm not talking about the Galactic Federation being a unified system. I'm talking about individual planets. Those planets have the same values, same ideas, are all on the same page, but they remain and retain their individuality. However, by entering the Galactic Federation of Light, you lose that sense of individuality. So now we also get into another problem here. If I've mentioned how the Galactic Federation of Light isn't a good thing to join, then why exactly are they helping us? Why are starseeds coming and helping to raise the vibration of Earth? I don't know. That's a good question. They want to. They want everyone to be on the same page and actually raise the vibration, actually have a good experience, and actually move on and ascend to the point where we can become our own gods of our own universes. However, we get into a problem here because if you realize that the Galactic Federation of Light is a higher form of government and you understand that it's kind of similar to a developed government helping out an underdeveloped nation in order for them to owe them one, or in some cases, a developing nation causing problems for an undeveloped nation. If the government is going to be causing problems for you that causes dependence on that government, of course they're going to do that because they want to be dependent on. He has a point. They're the people, the system in power, and they want to remain that way. It's the same thing with expansion and contraction. You always want to be in a high vibe state. However, realistically, you can't because energy comes in waves and at some point you're going to have to contract. Just like I'm going to kick the shit out of this galactic federation of light when I'm done with Earth. I'm not kicking the shit out of Earth. I'm trying to help. Basically, your pain is their gain and they want to keep it that way. So even though 
know that certain star seeds are going to come and help raise the vibration of Earth. It's all so that Earth will join the Galactic Federation of Light at some point. And even though they might not necessarily have the ill intention when they come here, because they might not exactly remember the whole point of getting Earth to join the Galactic Federation of Light, when it's time for Earth to actually ascend and move into a sixth dimensional body, aka becoming a star and actually us resembling and taking fourth and fifth dimensional humanoid appearances on Earth, when you can actually be on Earth and actually have a good time and not necessarily go through bullshit every single day. So they might not exactly remember the whole point of them actually trying to get Earth to join the Galactic Federation at some point. They still want to help. The main thing to keep in mind here is that why would you trade one terrible government for a galactic government? It's the same system on a different scale. The whole point is to be free individuals and actually move past the point of needing a government or structure and system in place that oppresses other people. If everyone's on the same page, why do you need to have a governing structure system in place in the first place? Place in the first place. You know what I'm trying to say. That doesn't mean that these planets don't actually go out and help each other because of course it's okay to do that. However, you have to retain your remnants of individuality. You'd actually grow, expand, contract, and expand into something where you can actually leave that experience behind and create something new for yourself. The Galactic Federation is bad. However, star seeds coming to Earth and actually trying to help raise the vibration of certain individuals and Earth in general is a good thing. However, the end goal, whether or not they remember it, is not. If you have questions, leave them in the comment section below because I'm sure I'm going to get a bunch of questions and I'd be more than happy to answer them and have a discussion about it. But until next time, bye y'all.